Hello, everybody. My name is Mangga Pan. I'm nine years old. I study at Maidong Primary School. I live in Hanoi, Vietnam. Today, we'll be discussing the national problem, climate change. As the Earth's temperature continues to rise, we stand at a crossroad of changing weathers. Meet climate change, one of the most pressing matters of our time. You might think of climate change as a good thing because of warmer weathers, but it is actually one of the biggest problems our Earth has ever faced. This is because climate change is not just warmer weathers. Earth is getting hotter by the second. Climate change has become a national problem since the early 19th century, as cities become more populated and the needs for man-made resources increased. When climate change was first introduced, scientists wondered if it was even real. Today, there is clear evidence on climate change's reality. One example is rising sea levels. The rate of rising sea levels has doubled in the past two decades, increasing by eight inches in the last century. Many countries around the world are facing the climate crisis, such as Antarctica, Russia, and Pakistan. For example, in the United States during summer in 2011, the Southern Plains suffered unbearable heat. Texas went through the worst drought on record. In 2011, a hurricane hit the shores of the Haitian coast, causing rainwater to pour down the hillsides. In that same year, Haiti was hit by four major storms, leaving 1,100 people dead or missing. A small village in Guatemala called Guadalupe had unfortunately also experienced the harsh effects of climate change. A particular small farm used to harvest 26 sacks of corn every year. After heavy rain and hail in 2011, 80% of harvest dropped in yield. That year, they were only able to harvest five sacks of corn since the heavy rain destroyed most of their crops. There are many other problems like this in our society today. While we're in the process, we also need to remember that we are not the only living beings of Earth. There are also other living creatures that are being greatly affected by climate change. For instance, the penguin is endangered. This is because penguins depend on sea ice to find their food, which is slowly disappearing before their eyes. We need penguins because they spend so much time on both land and sea that they fertilize the landscape with nutrients from the ocean. There are many other defenseless creatures that are defenseless against climate change. Why do they have to face the problem, the consequences to humans' mistakes? Do you think that's fair? Of course not. Luckily, there are many ways for us to stop the damaging effects of climate change. One way is for us to stop burning fossil fuels. There are many other energies that are renewable, unlike fossil fuels, such as solar power or wind power. We should also travel by public transportation, walk or bike, instead of go by car or motorbike to uh, decrease the number of smoke in the air, making it easier for all of us to breathe. I believe that climate change is interrupting the progress in technology since we are here today trying to solve this problem rather than developing our economy, making discoveries, or creating new inventions. Scientists believe that with just a bit of dedication, we can easily conquer this problem. I come to you, not as an expert, but as a citizen who cares greatly for her environment. I hope countries will unite together to uh, protect Earth from a terrible fate. Save Earth, save a life.
Save us all.